Hi everyone, I'm Anna Hill. And I'm Fulgen Henry. And today we're going to go over the top Ecom Live text overlays features on 3.8 release. That's right. Let's jump right in. That's right. Number right. one. <laughs> Number one is the uh, option to hide user interface controls. This is arguably, maybe not so <laughs> arguably, my favorite feature. So let's hold, let's head over to demo mode. And as you can see right now, we have our interface and it's very busy, right? We have our camera switcher here. We have a recording and all this fun stuff. Preview move button, pause, finish, and all of your panel buttons here off to the side. And what we're going to do, we're going to hold down the command key and press tilde key. The tilde key is right mm. underneath the escape key and right to the left of the number one and exclamation mark key. So we're going to hold on command and look at this. Poof. Interface awesome. begun, Oof. clean interface. You can design anywhere you want inside of this window. One more time, command tilde. Interface is here, it's so busy. You have to get underneath some things and command tilde. Poof, all gone. And that That's is right. number one. Oof. That's awesome. And another one of our favorite features because Fulgens, you gotta admit, it is the ability to nudge. That's mm. right. And that's our next one. The ability to nudge overlays with arrow keys. So let's go back into live demo mode and let's actually stay right here. Let's highlight this overlay here. Ability to nudge overlays with arrow keys. And if I zoom in, let's zoom in on it. And let's nudge them over towards on and let's nudge them to the left. So if we hit the left arrow key, the back key, as you can see, I just nudge it three times. I'm going to nudge it back towards the right. One, two, three. If you hold down the shift key now, you're going to be able to nudge or jump 10 pixels. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and hit left key. As you can see, two, three. That was a 10 pixel jump. Let's go back. One, two, three three so that is well my second favorite <laughs> i mean they are all oh, great things great features you guys for designing so now another one that is amazing i'm not sure if you guys were following us on building blocks how we were designing prior to this update and having this next feature makes things so amazing so corner radius that's yes. right mm. so let's go back into demo mode and let us highlight corner radius and we're going to hit the pencil right and let's add a background here as you can see now underneath background we have these new features here corner radius and margin corner radius is currently set to zero and if you look here we have these sharp rectangle edges here now and before we had round edges but if you miss your round edges or if you want rounder edges let's bring up the radius right and as you can see as you can see we're getting a rounder edges so now we have kind of like an oval shape here mm -hmm. uh, for our text overlay versus the rectangle the sharp edges and let's go back to zero and as you can see we have a solid rectangle and if we were to hit save this is what it would look like and you can see it up here under ecamm live 3.8 updates you have this solid rectangular border that's right it makes the signing so dynamic so great i'm so thankful for this feature so so thankful so another feature that is amazing i mean all of them are amazing folders is the background overlay image and videos let's That's show right. them that this is an amazing feature so let's go back into demo mode here and if you can see under our overlays panel you now have this cool feature show in background this is where you can add your static images or videos to serve as your background right now if you look at 03 jpeg this is the current blue background that we have now and let's hide this and let's show what a, and now you can have a standard black this is your black canvas and if we want to add a video background now we have this building blocks intro let's see let's select this and let's see what it looks like 
there you go. So now you have a video background and you could choose to have it continue looping and um, on and on until you switch to your next scene. That's right. These are amazing. This is great. We're teaching you how to do all of this on our, if you are on the Ecom Life community, you will see the show that we have building blocks where we teach you all of this design step by step. That's right. So next next feature fulgence is dragging the overlay from any corner anywhere any, <laughs> Just any, corner, any corner um let's go back into live demo mode and we have here a solid rectangle right solid text background and if you can let's zoom in a little bit as you can see, there's some indicators here in the corners that indicate you can stretch from the upper left, the lower left, the upper right, and the lower right. Let's hide this and show you that the camera borders, if we zoom in over by Anna over here, the same applies for, hi Anna, <laughs> the same applies for the camera borders you have, you uh, option to drag from any corner as you can see you see the double arrows here the two arrows to indicate that you can drag in addition to your text overlays that's right that's right it's, it's, it's amazing you guys i mean in the and the next thing which is great because we can animate and make our overlays in lower thirds even more dynamic is the ability to show the fly-in, right? The indicating the direction of the fly-in. So Fulgence, yes! But before that, Anna, <laughs> let's uh, show them that you can actually now drag overlays beyond the edge, right? Oh, yeah, that's right! Okay, so let's, uh, let's select a text. Let's add a, uh, let's bring back that text, that rectangular background, right? You have now the option to drag overlays beyond the edge. So before we were limited to snapping the text inside of, let's go into demo mode. You know, we have these borders here that will limit us. So you can see like, uh, you can see the borders that are limiting us, but now you can drag it beyond the border, right? Or you can have this text overlay fill the entire screen like so. Full screen. Ta -da. Right? So Ecamm Live makes using text overlay so much more flexible. That's right. And there's so many things that you can do now that you can just the full screen, just expand it and cover the full screen. You can create countdown timers. You can create waiting screens. I mean, yes. Right. And Anna's favorite feature, the <laughs> <laughs> indicate I just wait, right? <laughs> client direction for text overlays. Let's go back into live demo mode and let's select this uh, overlay here. Before we had the option for fixed position and fly in auto, meaning that Ecamm decides where your overlay will fly in from which direction but now you get to make that decision right so it's like not so fast ecam i want to decide <laughs> where my text will fly in from right so now you have option to fly in from the left or fly in from the right this text overlay was currently set to fly in from the left but let's select fly in from the right and let's try that out okay as you can see, it went to the opposite side of the screen and it comes back from the right side of the screen. Let's change that back to flying from the left. And of course you had scroll, scroll, scrolling ticker. That was already a standard feature. And mm -hmm. you have these two new options here. So let's select flying from the left and let's save. And let's try that one more time. It, it, it disappeared from the left to the left side of the screen and it's flying back in from the left all of this amazing the ways that you can animate your text animate your images in the new version is amazing i mean we cannot wait to show you everything that you can do now that this is available so yes so fulgence the next one is one of your favorites even though you have a lot of <laughs> i have a lot of favorites, but you know <laughs> i think i think the command till day takes the prize for me but That's true. we also have <laughs> the vertical snap overlays to center. So let's go back into the mode 
and let's select our text box. Let's bring it back on the screen. Let's shrink that down a little bit. And you're going to find this indication here. Let's move it around. You see the vertical snap and you see the horizontal snap to indicate that your text overlay is precisely placed directly in the center of your preview window. All right. Mm -hmm. So you have that option now. And if you were to move it uh, to other sides of the screen, let's say you want to create camera borders, you're going to get the same snap to indicate that your, your camera borders or your text overlays are perfectly lined up, perfectly centered. Amazing, mm -hmm. amazing feature. Amazing. Amazing. Love it. All of them are, are uh, all of them. I mean, the fact that you can get started with Ecamm Live and just create overlays or lower thirds on the fly is an amazing feature in and of itself. I say Fulgence. <laughs> That's right. I agree. I totally agree. <laughs> All right, you guys, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Click like and come back and watch us because you're going to have way more tutorials about how you can create amazing graphics using Ecamm Live Text Overlay. And make sure you find us live every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern inside of the Ecamm Live community where we will host Ecamm network news updates as well as live building blocks tutorials that's right and you're gonna learn how to create things like this hope you guys join us this is anna hill and i'm fulton's henry and stand clear of the closing doors